The impact of the recent oil spill off Port Arthur. Harvest Power partners with Waste Management. And Intel is the EPA's top green power producer. This is the Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Tuesday, January the 26th. I'm Ben Lack, and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Leading off, oil markets have taken little notice of a recent spill off Port Arthur, but refiners in the area are continuing to keep a close eye on cleanup efforts, wary that an extended shutdown of a key oil delivery port could create problems. 11,000 barrels of oil spilled into the Sabine Nietzsche's waterway in the Gulf over the weekend, and if not handled property, could delay shipping boats to plants that represent nearly 7% of the U.S. refining capacity. Not to fear, says the Coast Guard, as refineries have only experienced slight delays and they expect the port to open up later this week. Harvest Power, which builds, owns, and operates facilities that turn organic waste into renewable energy, yesterday announced a partnership with leading waste services company, Waste Management. In an effort to expand its recycling operations, the partnership gives Harvest a well-established player in the waste business, and it paves the way for the company to access organic waste from waste management's operations across the U.S. and Canada. Harvest will then take the waste and convert it into fuels such as biogas and compressed natural gas, as well as composted soil. The startup plans to use on-site cogen plants to convert much of the fuel into electricity, which would then be sold to utilities and Harvest would like to build up to 50 plants in North America over the next four to six years, with each facility being able to process at least 30,000 tons of organic waste per year. Intel Corporation heads the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's top green power producers for a third year, with Kohl's department stores and PepsiCo second and third respectively. The EPA released its first 2010 report on the companies, schools, colleges, and government agencies that purchase or generate the greatest amount of renewable energy in the country and participate in the Green Power Partnership Program. In 2009, the top 10 green power partners in the U.S. increased the renewable energy contracts by about 1.5 billion kilowatt hours and brought their purchases to a total of more than 7.3 billion kilowatt hours annually. 300 new companies and other organizations joined the partnership program last year, bringing the total to 1,200. And together they are buying 18 billion kilowatt hours a year, which the agency estimates as being equivalent to the CO2 emissions from electricity used by more than 1.6 million homes. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.